Vermont Yankee Nuclear Power Station stopped generating power nearly seven years ago. NBC5's John Hawks fills us in on the site's cleanup that's taken three years so far. Once a powerhouse in the Northeast, now a cleanup site. The Vermont Yankee Nuclear Power Plant is being decommissioned. North Star Group Services is in charge of this tremendous undertaking. Names to complete the project by 2026, with hopes that the majority of the work will be done much earlier. Major site works, you know, 2024 is a good bet. Well ahead of their contractually obligated time frame of 2030. The pieces of the core have been deconstructed, leaving many buildings behind. There is minimal changes to the outside buildings, with a few already destroyed, replaced with heavy machinery. You know, having the right tools is important in this business. A high-reach excavator demolishes pieces of the plant. The internal nuclear reactor and other components are then placed in custom boxes for transportation via rail to a waste repository in Texas. Boxes can weigh up to 240,000 pounds, some having up to five inches thick of steel, leading to no outside exposure. Yeah, they were fabricated specifically for us with the dimensions and that we wanted. 17 tons of materials has already been hauled from the site, and 50 large concrete canisters with spent fuel will be stored in the site for now. They'll eventually be transported to the Department of Energy. Yeah, you know, there's no specific timeline at this point where the spent fuel would ever leave. North Star believes the land will be safe enough one day to build houses on, or whatever is best for Vernon. In the office building there, does Vernon want that, have use for that? Uh, if they don't, we would take it out. If they do, we would leave it and they could have it. In Vernon, John Hawks, NBC5 News.